Okay, we're adding the car radio in the shop and I'm powering it with a converted computer power supply. Don't get dizzy here, I'm going to move, which we've already done. I'm not going to go into the effort of explaining that, converting the ATX. It's mounted. Um, a hole for the radio. Um, we've got speakers running. This particular radio is very sensitive to power being turned off and no memory, which is typical. When you run on an ATX, pretend this is the ATX, you run the ignition wire and the memory wire together for power. Works great, except when you turn off the power, you have no memory for the radio. And especially newer radios, everything's memory, volume, balance, fader, stations, etc. and kind of painful. Every time you want to listen to the radio, you have to go through and set up your finder stations. Um, point is... this. Uh, not focusing. 12 volt half an amp wall wart <laughs> tied in to memory wire and I used a simple relay that was powered by the ATX to switch between the ATX power supply and probably can't see it, but the pin in the middle there is from the wall wart. The issue I had though was when you turn off the ATX, it turns off obviously 12 volts that turns on the relay. <clears throat> It takes it uh, about a second for the 12 volt output to bleed down enough for the relay to switch. In the meantime, the radio is still trying to draw power for the memory. And it would dump the memory because by the time this switched, draining off all this power, so it could turn on and start drawing from the wall wart. There's a brief period that there's no power. Um, took me a while to figure out what was going on because I just kept dumping memory and I know it should work with either using this or a battery on the memory wire. <clears throat> Anyway, it's just the amount of time that it takes for this to switch while this radio is still drawing power. That brief interruption is enough to dump the memory. And this radio is, like I said, <clears throat> really sensitive. I mean, I have several other radios that I can disconnect for a few minutes and retain the memory. This one's almost instantaneous. Anyway. So what I finally did is the 12 volt that was turning on the relay to allow this ATX power to go feed the radio, just put a switch on it instead. So I turn off the relay so it's instant switch to the wall warp power and then turn off the ATX. That works.
So, yeah. Turn on the radio, the ATX, turn them off. I just have to remember to turn on and off the relay instead of relying on it to automatically turn on and off. Kind of a pain, but it's better than resetting up the radio. Okay, this is the sketch I made for my own documentation because this stuff once mounted, everything's buried. <clears throat> uh, anyway, the ATX, <clears throat> once it was powered, um, also fed the relay, allowing power to go through to feed the radio. The problem was is when I turn off the ATX it takes it a little bit for the power to drain down before it turns off the relay or allows it to go back to normally closed which connects memory power to the wall work and that brief amount of time was enough to dump the memory of the radio um, the next one, this is what I had done, <clears throat> disconnected the auto feed, it turned on the relay, and added a switch here. And turning off the relay, allowing The memory wire to connect to the wall wart while this is still energized doesn't interrupt the power to the radio as far as memory and then I turn off the ATX um, it's just one way to do it I mean I have some switches like a double throw that might simultaneously turn this off and switch the power but <clears throat> adding this little switch works and I think I'm just going to call it good unless it gets too painful to remember to turn this off the first time I forget to turn the ATX off it's going to dump the memory but being that this is in the shop <coughs> probably going to be dumping power anyway on occasion And new and improved. Like I say, it works. That's probably the way I'll go. But I'm really considering adding this double throw switch. Basically, it's two switches and one. Connect the ATX to one side and the relay to the other side, I want to be using half of this. So it simultaneously turns off the relay and turns off the ATX and it probably would work. It's just rewiring at this point. <laughs> I don't know. This project's already gotten more involved than I had planned typical but anyway the whole point of this was 
looking online I could find no simple means of adding memory using an ATX power supply. Um, just an option. Thanks, enjoy. Well, I'm glad I made this video. I'm looking at this switch and all of a sudden I realized <clears throat> I can get rid of the relay altogether. There's absolutely no reason to use it now. Uh, the center the orange wire is going to the radio. On this side is the 12 volt transformer. Uh, on this side, the yellow and red that go to the ATX. And on the top here is the green and the black wire from the ATX. And again, these two rows are basically separate switches. <clears throat> and right now it's in the off position, so it's connecting the transformer. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> it's connecting the transformer to the radio, which is supplying memory. That's the yellow wire to the radio. It's disconnecting the ATX. <clears throat> it's connecting these two poles, which this one's empty. And if I turn it on, oops. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Now, it's connecting these two poles, <coughs> the ATX, it's connecting these two poles, the ATX power supply, to the radio. <coughs> Simple enough. An on-on. double pole switch. I have one switch turns everything on and off switching between ATX power supply and the transformer plus turning on and off the ATX. Get rid of the little trend, the relay. <coughs> it's too simple. <coughs> 